about the rest? Tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop, the hustle don't stop, same old shit, go grind it, you know ain't nothing changed one bit, it's a unique hustle, we done came up, bitch, name another podcast, I like this. Check it, check it, check it, it's a unique hustle, it's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nothing, ain't no more there, well, go on, I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now, go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms, I mean our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to hop on over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals, all our full-length interviews, all our clips, everything. And y'all always see us on the streets and be like, how can we support the brand? Because y'all love what we're doing. All of that. This is how you support a brand. We don't only want your subscription on YouTube. We need your membership. How you get to the membership is under each and every video in the description section below, including this one. Click the link that says join our membership today and it'll take you through all the procedures. Thank you in advance and love you and thank you for the support. Man, hey man, listen man. Check it man. Boss Talk 101, glad to be back man. Uh, we just had a great trip. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of videos coming your way but we got a guy here today, y'all. I couldn't wait to get back to interview this guy right here, man. This guy has uh, been, uh, you know, he been in the game. You know what I'm saying? But he done started a new game now. You know what I'm saying? Young guy. What's up? He's what's in the up, building. What's up? What's, up? what's going on, going, man? I'm doing this morning. I'm doing good, man. Man, bless, it's good bless, to bless. see you, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, you know, uh, man, it's going to be a treat, man, because I love the music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people don't understand, man. Music is, has so many different elements to it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I think... I think this is this is what Boss Talk is all about. We trying to hit every cylinder like we in a uh, Monte Carlo with a 305 in it. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. It come with the 305. You know what I'm saying? We put the 350 in it when we tra right. when we ready to step our game up, man. Oh, yeah. Listen, man. Let's get to it. Okay, young guys. So, um, where were you born and raised? I was born in uh, Joliet, Illinois. Mm. And, uh, I lost my father at a young age. And, uh, How old were you when you said young age? About five. Five? About Do you five. remember him? Mm, I remember a little bit here mm -hmm. and that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, after my. Uh, after How did he you passed, lose him? Uh, cancer. Cancer. Yeah, we oh, lost God, him to cancer. So wow. uh, after that, you know, my mama's side, her mama. And my grandma, they moved down to Mississippi, so my mama wanted to be close mm -hmm, to, to family. Yes, yeah, so we ended up moving to Mississippi, and I've been in Mississippi ever since. Were you? The, are you the only child, last child, first child? No, I got uh, two brothers and one sister. And where do you fall in between? Uh, I'm the youngest out of all of them. To you, the baby boy. I'm the baby. Oh, okay, I'm okay. The baby. So your mom was a little bit older when she had you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And my sister, you know, she she, uh, she was from a previous marriage, you know, and she died. Uh, last year mm. so i got just got my two brothers right wow now. yeah yeah how did all of that loss um i know that it had a lot of space in between but how did losing your father at a young age affect you growing up man it's uh you, you my mama was a superhero you know what i'm saying she kind of made everything make sense for us you know she did what she can you know we came up didn't have everything we wanted but we always had what we needed so mm. that was always a blessing you know you, until you get old and start to see it, you know, you be at, at school, you see, you know, your, your dad's at your games, right. your dad's at the meetings, and, you know, you start to hit you, hit you a little different when you get a little older, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's time. But I was blessed to have a community of people. Uh, it ain't like that no more. You know how the community where your friends' mamas was your mama <laughs> and they daddy, you know, I kind of came up in that type of, so it, it kind of didn't. So you had male role yeah, models Yeah, I had, in your I life. had it, my uncles and things. I kind of had that, you know. So, okay, that's good. But it, I ain't feel like I missed out on nothing, but, you know, you still, man, my, my daddy was here because my daddy done music too. Oh, that's yeah. where you got your musical yeah, talent. Yeah, that's where I got from. my itch from. So my daddy, like, my, my, my mama told me he used to have had me on his lap. He wrote music too. You know, they mm -hmm. had a little band and stuff. They used to go around, sing around local, around Joliet, stuff like that. So he like, had me on his lap writing music, plugging that guitar and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, you know, I was wondering, like, man, why I got this itch for music? And even when I stepped away from it, I always tell people, man, I'm going to do music again. I'm going to do music again. But I, I get it from him. It's in, it's in yeah. the bloodline. So, you know, my brothers did music as well. So I'm the only one just kind of kept, you know, kept going with it. I don't know if your family was like mine, but. I know back then, it's like people wouldn't record a lot of things. Right. You know, they took pictures every now and again, but not no video recording. Don't you wish that you had a video recording of your dad when he was doing yeah, music and when, yeah, you know, the times when you sat on his lap and yeah, all of that, that you could dope. look? That would have definitely been dope. 
pretty much it's been some inspiration for me right now. If I was exactly. Able to see that, you know, but exactly. I know he he right here, so that's good. I, I, I still take it with him every while I go. I know what's happening for me right now, and mm-hmm. it's he got something to do with it. That's why I tell everybody. Even I'm telling you. You know, some people be like, oh, I don't want to record this. I don't want to record that. Record everything. Yeah. It's not for you. The memories is everything. The memories is everything. It's right. for your kids. It's for your kids' kids to be able to go back and look at, oh, that's my great-grandmom. That's my great-grandfather. Oh, he used to do this. Right. It's good that you're in the music because, you know, YouTube is here now, so everything is being recorded. Right. But not everybody's performances it has been uploaded to YouTube, so... Definitely, you need to upload your, your performances this, this so everybody is, can see is, it. It's basically about visuals. That's, that's yeah. just the thing now. You know, TikTok, a lot of people don't even be on Facebook or Instagram. They love TikTok because mm-hmm. it's all visual. So That's good. So mm-hmm. how old were you when you started singing? Um, I started in the church. so At a young age. Yeah, in the choir. Got a little older, a uh, couple. You know, my brothers and a couple guys in the neighborhood, we started a quartet group. And uh, we sing, you know, sing going around churches and stuff. Got a little older, mm-hmm. start, you know, start feeling ourselves. We got into the rap thing, and <laughs> why so, switch to? Oh, because rap was the end thing back I then. Mean, you know, I mean, rap and that's how you got the girls. I ain't gonna say got the <laughs> girls, you know what I'm saying? But it, we step into the rap thing, and uh, we started a group. Then you know, my gr- the group was called D3. You know, okay, and your brother was in that one too. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, was, so he's into music yeah, as well. A lot of us when we first started, you know. Okay. Saying? A couple fell out the wayside, but you know how that go. Mm-hmm. You know, so it ended up being like four or five of us. You know, we kind of did the same thing. Now we, we recorded music. Started off, you know, with the little bootleg studio stuff, <laughs> taping the mic on the wall, all that good stuff, making music. Man, it was just fun. Who know? was producing it? Oh, uh, we, was- we had a couple, a couple guys around the way. Um, a lot of people might not, our artists will know when I say Fruity Loops. Y'all ever heard of Fruity Loops before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we kind of started up making our own beats and stuff like that on that. Soldier Boy, I tell them. Yeah, Stop yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. You, know you ain't going to miss me on no music, yeah. man. You so come and try to, I don't know if y'all know about the Fruity Loops. Man. Well, let me just be honest with you, young guy. I'm an old guy, you okay? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I listen yeah. real well, you right. know what I'm saying? So you, so you know about I them. know about them because I seen them when they came in to play because yeah. a lot of people got jealous right. because they was used to doing beats the other way. Right. And so when that came along, people was like, man, this Fruit Loop man, you know what I'm saying? I think it was an Ice-T thing and Soldier Boy and the music, it just felt like it wasn't organic anymore when right. when they came with that, right? right this right. was the internet phase, right? Right. right. Now, now, don't try to miss me, a uh, young guy. I'm, I'm being My real. Bad. I'm here, baby. Oh, yeah. Now, let's just talk about this music for a minute. You say you used to rap. Mm-hmm. Well, give me uh, oh, 12 man. of those bars that you did back then, just a little simple. You can talk them, just speak them. Man, just I a little bit. You don't even remember the damn rap, man. man. That's man. how long it been, man. How long was it? Oh, man. Shoot. So you stopped rapping what yeah, year? this from... Uh, I probably the last rap show I did was in Houston. And that was probably 2009. So you rap for like, what, two years? Three no, years? No, that nigga rap for, for a long time. Tell okay. about I got in college, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I, so I you rap playing, for a long time. For a minute, but you know what I'm saying? This, people don't understand, like, what I'm doing now, as far as me recording, yeah, physically yeah. recording, writing music, I haven't done that in you know almost 12, 13 years. Well, so let's I'm talk gonna... about the highlight of when you was a rapper, because I don't want to speed past that. Right. It was a highlight moment, like when you met uh, Lil Kiki, or when you met uh, 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 Bun B, or somebody you met, you were like, I'm gonna go, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm close. Right. You see what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> when you, who'd you meet? Man, G, it was Jeezy. See what I'm saying? I knew yeah, it, was it was a highlight moment. I remember Jeezy came to... Um, and it was like my first time really just, I mean, I, I don't been at a couple of concerts here and there, but my first time just really being at a concert. And Jesus, in, he was in Hattiesburg. Okay. Yeah, man, that was that was crazy. And what happened? Yeah. Give, give me the details, man, man. It was just, man, just seeing that on stage, that man had a chain. I was young, Boy, he man. looked cleaner, didn't he? Man, that thing he looked shot, cleaner shot, than what? Yeah. These niggas' skin was glistening. The man. nigga money looked like money. I was like, man, I want that. You that know what I'm mean? <laughs> I, I want that lifestyle right there. I'm talking about he owns the chain like a chandelier. <laughs> that nigga look clean. Hey, you like, performing man. all them good jams. I said, what he said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that Jesus, man. It's you, like, did, you met the snowman. Yeah, I want that. I want that lifestyle. You, you met the snowman, saying? didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was Nina, dope, he, That was before, uh, uh, what was that one when Obama got? That was before the Obama movement, oh, right? Oh, yeah, that was before. That was before. This was yeah. that one where he said, uh, I used to hit the 
kitchen floor, it was cockroaches everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 now yeah, marble Jesus, floor yeah, everywhere. Man. That was it, right? Man, yeah. It, it, that, it, that, it was was that was it. That was Four and a baby. Yeah. That Jeezy. That Jeezy. <laughs> I love Jeezy, yeah, man. I was hitting a little bit. Jeezy is hard, man. Yeah. Ain't no way you could. You, hip hop wouldn't be hip hop without the South. Right. The South pretty much put its staple in hip hop. They tried to hold it away from us for a long time. A lot of people feel like, oh, uh, they don't get us out the curtain. I still you know feel that way, no, but it don't I'm matter. Bird, oh, Bird, Birdman feel like that. I you feel like that? Birdman. Yeah. Because I'm going to be real, which I seen when he just said that, and I'm going to be real with you. What he's saying is absolutely factual, true. Oh, because yeah. people say, well, yeah, they do get y'all, do get y'all, just do now. But that, I heard Boosie say that was, oh, no, nigga, what I'm saying is, is that the people, when they look at the top five albums, whether it be on the East Coast or the West Coast, or uh, wherever these Universal Studios might be, when wow. they start looking at billboards and all that stuff, then they pretty much push the South to the side right. when it come down to albums that pretty much floating really high than theirs. Wow. Pimp C, and that's my favorite rapper of all time, Pimp C say, you know what I'm saying, FBT because they ain't down with the South. You know, he said our records always sell out. We always go go. Why right. do you think he said that? Because right. they never recognized it then and they don't recognize it now. Right. So you want to act like they recognizing you because you seen on the internet, niggas, please. That's not going to be the history. We got to change the history by really pushing up. That means we got to push information from the South up so that they can understand and feel us. And that's going to take technical ability. Right. That's going to take some people that put together their own TMZ somewhat, right. their own internet web base somewhat, right. where people can sit on that website, where people cannot deny what's happening with yeah, the South, baby. What boss talks about that's what we're doing. Right. I'm just on the, I just get, I just got started. Right. And that's why the show go hard like it do, because I come with the facts. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Because I love y'all, because we down here, and they, 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 they sell a thing like Chitlin Circle and all that to try to make it look like it ain't what they doing. Right. And I got something for that. We gonna push it up. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, for so sure. what's up with you though? Let's talk about it, man. Like you was on that stage early on, so your stage presence got to be a beast now. Oh yeah, man. I started, man. You know, that's one thing I say about now. You know, I feel like everything I went to prepared me for what I'm going through now because you know I can shake a little stuff. So I can shake stuff off a little bit easier, but now yeah. than I could. You know, back then, you know. I think everybody in the music industry, when you starting off local and things like that, you got your shows. Well, uh, you get to the show, uh, you, either they don't let you perform, or by the time you get on stage, people walking out. Uh, you know, you get this four people there, but I always treated that like you know, it's an opportunity. You know, I don't care if it's ten people in there, if it's ten thousand. You know, you still got to go in there and do your thing. So it's all preparation and practice for me. You know what I'm saying? So oh now, yeah. So now you know I. Doing it what I'm doing now, man. It's just I'm more comfortable now. Well, I can tell you right now, um, when you look at what's going on with the music right now, right. I feel that there's a, a somewhat. You got a lot of different types of music, right? But you know, they they call it something, and what you call something puts it it gives you value or it devalues it. Right. To be honest with, it categorizes right. it in a way to where they can put their thoughts and perception on it in a way to where they can try to debunk it if they want to right. or try to lift it up if they want to. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So right. you got all this stuff categorized for a reason. Right. So when you look at rap or hip hop, when you look at R&B, when you look at soul, when you look at rock and roll, you know what I'm saying? When you look at blues, you know what I'm saying? All these are categorized in a way to where they can put a number or a name on it and they can put it in a strategy where they can do it how they want to do it. So you chose to go with today's Southern soul. Is it? Um, Southern soul is something that that basically after you got through with the rap, you was like, okay, I'm gonna go on and, and do this. What what was the thing that made you go over to that side? I mean, cause I mean, we from the south, man. And if you know what I mean, we, my mama, everybody, we 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 came up on Southern soul music. The Sir Charles is the male waiters. Shout out Sir Charles, them. that's my guy. Um, and all TK Soul, that's what we TK came up Soul. On. Yeah, we came up on that. Lil Milton. Music. Yeah, all that. Yeah, Marvin Cease. Marvin Cease. Don't make me keep going, keep nigga. Going. I'm keep one going. of them ones, man. That's what we, ZZ Hill. And that's. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, who that, man. Who that, that was, that who was that, somebody who else I seen. Which one do that? When I was younger. Which man. one do that barking? Oh, no, 
don't let me don't let me lie to you. BB King, BB King and uh, what's that boy B with him? Bobby, Bobby Blue Blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna, yeah every I say, time I remember seeing Marvin Seas man when I was younger. He was at the base. The candy liquor. Man. Man, I was I was young. That was my mama. You know what I'm saying? Man, she got. Her, I'm sitting there girl. watching my mama dance. I'm sitting there, man, up there with that Jerry Curl licking his tongue out. <laughs> I'm looking at my mama like, ain't no way. <laughs> No way, but I mean, that was like, man, that was, that Marvel Seas was an entertainer, man. Man, let me tell you something, man. Uh, licking his tongue out, brought back a memory. I hate to say it. Uh, I had my boy Pokey Bear on here, yeah. and he said he went down there and performed for uh, Rick Ross, and Rick Ross... <laughs> <laughs> he performed for Rick Ross' mama, and he say Rick Ross said out to him, "You want to talk to my mama?" He, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he was trying to. He yeah. thought he was gonna get a, a MMG, you know, chain, but he ended up getting guided out of it because yeah. get about cause it. He, yeah, he want that nigga around his mama like yeah, you. Know what I'm, I'm leaving my mama. She just swinging on hips. Oh, said, uh, she was having a good time. Yeah, yeah, Rick man. said, "Hell no, get that nigga up out here." But that, that that I say that a young, hey, what that blues meant, you know what I'm saying? You know when we were younger, we hear blue. I don't want this to no blue. Yeah, but I always say when you get older, you gonna understand that blue is a little bit more different. So yeah, now that I got older, that blue, them songs hit a little different now than it did when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm stepping off into it, and for me, transitioning to the blue side is 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 real music. So and I, I'm more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? If you ever, you know listen to my music, it come who, from here. Who's your top three uh, blues uh, artists of all time, dead or alive? Man, I'm gonna say Johnny Taylor. Boy, I listen. Huh? Just because we had a little Johnny fight. Taylor, man. Johnny and Taylor, I got man. mad and stayed out all night. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I done yeah. something wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, I say Johnny Taylor, um, Marvin C. The candy liquor again. There he is. He right back in the building. No, that I boy was bad too. He had it, it, Marvin C. saying, "I'm just a ghetto man, huh? That's all I am." Right. The nigga say, "I still eat beans out the can." Yep. See, y'all don't know. Y'all mm. see, I, that's why I can do it now. I, if I, I, if I you come in here rapping, right. if you come in there any kind of way, I'm gonna hit you. Right. You are gonna be like, "How this nigga sexy red could be sitting there, nigga?" I quote everything I put up out of here, right? That's in good, a good way. That's you good. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but who's that third one? Mm, I'm gonna say. Uh, I probably say Sir Charles, man. Boy, Sir Charles would come through the door. Let me tell you why he wanted the coldest one. Because when he came through the door, the nigga was, the nigga was different than everybody that had came through the door before him. Right. So he came through, and they they really didn't want to accept the nigga. And I remember that, and I was like, I don't know if I accept the nigga. You know, right. let's just be real for a minute. Because yeah. I'm really a Mar a Marvin Cease, Johnny Taylor, and, and Clar Clarence. What what's Clarence's name? The, the, the nigga that be uh, he do a little bit of stuff. Uh, he shouldn't be doing stroking, <laughs> right? So uh, I I was like, okay, now here he come, and he coming in here. And when I first heard him, it was it was a song called. Uh, it's, fr it's Friday, which I always say that Friday song, uh, King George took a book from his page and he started using that style a little bit and he kind of just took it the rest of the way. I, I think that style is still, that's that same type tempo. He just took it. A, that's my opinion. I'm right. just telling you. I'm, right. I listen to music. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, I think that was a, yeah, a turn from the page. Now he took it there because King George killing the game with oh, his yeah. whole style. Oh, yeah. But I think that was a part that that Friday song was one of those tempos that was different than what Sir Charles oh, yeah. normally that's, do. That's the big thing about it, man. You got to pay your homage. You yeah, gotta, you got to get it from somewhere. That's you know right. What that's saying? my thoughts. That's yeah. what. But it was that other. What was that one that Sir Charles talked about on here when he said? Uh, it was talking about that woman. He told us the whole deal on that song. Boy, I can't remember. Boy, I sure need to. Boy, it need to come to me. Is it any, talking about anybody alone? You talking about that one? Uh, uh. I I remember one Sunday evening, my best friend came over. Yeah, that's it. And he just looked at me go. with tears just in his eyes. Just can't let go. Just can't let go. That's yeah. it. I could I could sing it, but I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Get right. the name of it. Right. Because I listen to music. Right. But. That song right there, he gave the whole story on what that song really was like versus what he sung it like right. because they made him change it up because it really was a song about himself. Right. But it was a way that he couldn't tell it that 
that he, he it wouldn't have it wouldn't have been the same if he'd have told it the way he it really happened. Mm -hmm. But boy, the nigga showed. Boy, I had him singing on here too. Then I'm gonna get you to sing. You gotta give me some of that. that or that uh, which one of that one that take heed? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to give me some L.J. All of them. They got to come through. You can't come on boss talk in this acapella. Because you can't sing, without, nigga. We finna expose you. Without dropping a You got to No. I didn't take heed, go. Let, give me a little bit of it. He said the same thing you did to get her. You got to do the same thing to keep her. Mm -hmm. Listen. He said you got to leave the streets alone. When you find you a woman that can make us own. That's a little man, bit. stop playing, man. Y'all better quit playing with young guy. You niggas see what's going on <laughs> at Boss Talk 101, nigga. Y'all ain't heard it like that. That's what that was make us different right there. Boy, listen, man. That's what music need, man. Right. See, these young niggas don't know nothing about slow music no more. I I, didn't, I went to a few little old outings in Vegas that 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 LRG party a long time ago where they had the pool in the room at the Palms Hotel, and uh, they all stood down. Drake had just dropped that one uh, one of them big ones that he had. It was a huge song, and they played it all damn night. That's why I know it was a huge song. Right. But at the end of the day, no slow music came the whole night, and so I figured it out. It was happening before then, but it was like damn. He folk really out here really jamming without no no slow music. No substance. Nothing at all. Yeah. They're not going to slow down. Yeah. They're going to dance all night. They're going to uh, pop pills. They're going to smoke dope all night long with nothing but straight riotous living. They want to turn up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they call it the turn up. They want to turn up. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But that what you just done, brother, is needed so much so that we can have a level you know level Man, playing field is probably real. That might the, maybe some of the main reason why I kind of stepped away from music too because I mean I'm, I'm, I'm a music lover too I yeah. listen to everything yeah. rap country it don't matter I mm -hmm. music good music to me yeah. but I mean that's kind of part of the reason I kind of stepped out because I feel like music was taking a turn you know what I'm saying and it was like you know my part of my, if I can't if it don't like Big Crit said if it don't touch my soul I can't listen to it. That boy said Big Crit I can't get that nigga over here for nothing. Man, <laughs> you know I've been me. trying to get that nigga over. He went down there to Houston with little Kiki. I'd have pulled up and put the banner yeah, up for that nigga. Man, that's Crit. That's my guy, man. You better try to yeah. get him on Boss Talk. I didn't try. I didn't told two or three different niggas that I want that nigga on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm in the South, man. See his type of music that substance. You know what I'm saying? Well, man. all I'm saying is I know his music. Right. I'm over here in the South and I'm doing this for the South. Oh yeah. And if you really about the South, then where you at? You got to get over it. So you call him for me. Say, hey, boss, Crit, talk, Crit, hey, boss Talk. All these cameras he, on you. He wants he want your help, Chris. <laughs> he wants your help, man. Yeah. I'm going to read it in Mississippi right there, man. What, what you think? You, you, you think it's, uh, I mean, the platform worth the crit, don't you think so? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Bun B came on. I see. Uh, some of the great Ice-T came on. He coming, man. I need Chris. He coming. You know what I'm saying? Look, Kiki definitely come on. He been on a few times. There's a lot of family coming on here, man. A lot of lot of people, uh, E40 tapping in, so I enjoy it, man. Um, but you, let's let's get back to your story, man. Let's talk about that take heed for a minute. What was the process of putting that together? How long did it take you to write it? Man, uh, my producer came over and we just when he come over, we just kinda bounce, bounce ideas off each other. And he kinda played that beat for me. He probably made that beat in probably fifteen minutes. Wow. That's yeah. a bad boy. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? The shout out. Shout out to my producer, man, Don Doola. Don Doola. Don Doola, man. So you know we, we, we like did. We just two brothers from the country, bro. Just like me, to, country try, boy. Trying to come up together, man. You know, so cause we do this independent. I'm, I'm not signing nobody. Everything you see me do come out my pocket. You feel what I'm saying? Did you? So, Let me ask you a question. Cause you, just, I just thought about something. You lucky to be alive. Yeah. Down there in that dang water, that water crisis y'all had down there. Was you in Jackson when they had that water yeah, crisis? Yeah, man, but I'm, I mean, you, you, man. What I'm was on, up with that? Tell I'm me what's I'm up with that. Kind of was that side. bad as they made it sound? Oh, yeah, man. It was pretty tough. It'd be the water, the trash. It'd be a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff going on in Jackson, man. So I just tell people, keep, you know, keep Jackson, Mississippi, and y'all for real. It's just, I it's, definitely got a prayer. I stopped through there. It's too much going on, man. Too much water stuff. It's just, it's a lot going on in Jacktown, man. Shout out to that cigar place I had downtown, that downtown. Y'all got a cigar lounge, lounge down. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know the name of it. I stopped by there because my wife and kids had to stop and take a leak. You remember yeah. that? 
And I stopped through there and talked to all them folks. Then to sit out there like I smoke, I don't even smoke cigars. For real. You know where it's at? The one I'm talking about. Yeah, I know you talking. It's Black Hole down yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that. I think that. it's down there about four. I wish I knew the name of it. They showed let me use the restroom and I'm my whole right. family. We went in there and everything. Had a good time. I might go down there and set up with them one day. They got an outside part right there where you can sit outside yeah. and stuff. I like that. Oh yeah. You know I love it, but I ain't gonna drink your water. I had to take some of my own water the down water. there. Yeah, but I, I actually stay in Rankin County. Like you in Rankin? Brandon, Flowood area, stuff like that. So you I got water down Jackson. there? Mm, probably, you know, probably 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, I'm on the outskirts of Jackson. All right, let's get back to Take Heed a little bit more. I, I took you there, that water. You, I just yeah, thought about it. Yeah. It popped up. Uh, so Take Heed, when you first put it out, you drink, you you made it, you, you wrote it, and then, then y'all mixed and mastered it, got it out where it needed to be, you put it out there, and now this thing is taking off back yeah, that then. Really, that really was a record, you know, because um, before I even really just put that, before I even put that record together, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, my producer came over, he started, he started you know, playing that record, that beat or whatever. So I kind of freestyled and, you know, because I got a video out uh, when I'm actually was singing it in the garage. Yeah, and, and and he was like, "Man, post that video." I was like, "Man, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna post it." You know what I'm saying? I was just freestyling, just playing around. You know what I'm saying? I kind of had the idea of the song, but you know, you, you really can't just put your music out nowadays because people, you know, people still need that. You know. So you didn't that. write it; it just, it just nah, came it off the dome. Straight. I don't write nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. Not, not a song you don't heard. I you ain't gonna find it on the paper. I can't. I. I learned that when I was younger, like trying to read and, and do something, it didn't feel the same to me. So I'd rather just write it in my head, repeat it to myself, so I just got it then just to do it. But, you know, with Take Heed, you know what I'm saying? He was like, my, he was like, man, post that video. I said, nah, I ain't going to post. Because Take Heed really was just going to be a record I just put out mm -hmm. later on down the line. He was like, man, post that video on social media, man. Let them folks know what you're doing. I said, man, I ain't going to post. He said, if you don't post it, I'm going to post it. I said, All right, I got out that morning and I posted it. Man, on TikTok, Facebook, it went crazy. Everybody like, what, what, what a song get? What a song get? I'm thinking, I ain't no damn song. You know what I'm saying? I was just playing around, you know, just, you know. So I'm like, man, I probably need to go record this song. So shit, I about about two, three days, man. I put that song together, man. At first, it didn't have no verse on it. You know that every shot in the whiskey. That wasn't even on there at first. I, it wasn't. I, no, I had. I, I. It was just how I done it on the video. But I kept listening to it. I said, man, this song missing something. This a storyline that's missing something. I said, this old man got to tell me something. I got to, you know, what I'm going to do after this old man tell me what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of, when I put that verse on, I was like, yeah, that's it, it's it's Lennon Williams long. But, that old Jeremy, man. That <laughs> old Jeremy, man. It's Lennon I Williams love long, that. Man. You understand? Yeah, that's, I love that, I was like, I don't don't care. Don't I love that? And yeah. It got to be long. It got to go to a distance, nigga. You know, the radio people are like, you know, oh, you know, your song got to be... Three minutes, thirty seconds, no more than this. This I said, man. I mean, maybe this song ain't meant to be on the radio, but I, I'm gonna put this song out the way I want to put it out. You know, it gotta make sense. That's why I write my music. This, this my music gotta make sense. So you know how that record came about, man. It just it, it, it kind of took off, man. I kind of appreciate everybody, you know, putting wow. it into it. I, I just one thing I can't say is I heard you all ago. You know, I, I listen real well. And, uh, you know, you tried to play me again. I don't know why you keep trying to play the old man. Uh, I, I uh, heard you say you write. You don't write. And uh, it was a wave when Jay and Lil Wayne and all them were saying they didn't write. You know, Biggie said he didn't write. And I know you was young, but you heard it. You heard it. So, you you know, automatically being a real stomp down cat, you like, you know what? I'm not writing in this thing. I can't do this, man. My brain think harder than me. I can't. <laughs> like, like, for real. Like, I, I don't. I don't <laughs> I guess you know what I'm saying when a person say for me when I say I don't write I like I don't write on paper I got you it you know what I'm saying I don't I ain't saying I go to the booth and freestyle <laughs> no nah, not in no blue I just work that verse in my head you know when I get it together did you write the rap oh yeah I wrote the rap oh you wrote okay yeah, I wrote okay I got, I got I it in your past then I ain't got I ain't kind of you know what I'm saying got to the point where I started doing that with the rap thing too okay I, so, I gotta get your past then yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. wrong but now nah, I, I ain't you know I don't freestyle <laughs> but I said I don't write meaning I don't I don't write stuff on paper, on paper. Then, you know I kind of I do everything in my head man yeah let's talk about Lay Low Play Slow oh yeah let's Lay, talk Lay, about that Lay Low Play Slow produced by my brother Don Dula too man Don Dula boy you busy down there yeah, yeah he, make, he make all my music man we got a lot more records coming out, man. Like I said, we just two two cash out and come up together, man. But uh, give me a little. Yeah, wait, 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 like, before you go into it, go on and give me a little bit of that first verse. I'm just riding in my Cadillac with the seat back, 
Blowing on the swizzle with the window cranes Thinking about the good the Lord and being to me I can't let these niggas treat me out these streets Had to find out the hallway That everybody ain't your friend And they say blood is thicker than water But half the time it be your own kin Man! When you want different, gotta move different Said you gotta stay consistent, gotta pay attention Cause people love to act like they fuck with you But low key be looking at you like competition Man Said every ear don't come to listen Some folk just wanna know your business But I'm too blessed and highly favored To be worried about the hate Man, oh look man, Y'all man. know what time it is, man Like I said, when the talent is here You can't deny it, you know what I'm saying So how, let's talk about that song Like what, 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 what How did you come up with that one? Man, that was that. I just feel like that was a, that was that was me. You know what I'm saying? I wrote that. I was person. That was that song was personal, man. Just mm. what I was going through in life, man. Just learning, bro. Just when it comes to dealing with people, how to move, how to how to just you know. I felt like the generation needed that song because a lot of people just like me, man. I don't be in a lot of people's face, man. I lay low, play slow. If they, they don't ask me about nobody, you don't see me with. I stay out for business. I mind the business that paid me. So that's that's the lifestyle. That's that's lay low, play slow. He is a young guy. That's, wow, that's me. Um, you did the video at the gravesite. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind the inspiration that? Inspiration behind that, man. Was just you know them 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 flowers, them graves. I put them flowers on. Whatever, just people that that had a. a Played a big part in, of my come up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as my music thing, you know, Big uh Rest in Peace, Big Sam, Big T, man. Um, those were actually the guys that helped us put a studio together when we were younger. You know, they, that kind of put us on that path. So, you know, they didn't go and risk their soul. Wow. But, you know, I had to, that, that was the purpose of putting them in the video, you know, that great, because that's, that's, that was the part. That was when family felt like family, friends felt like friends back then. Them, them guys was, was the glue to what we had going on. So the guys you seen on the video with me, that was that was the group, that was the rap group that I was in. The wow. Brothers, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Then we got an old video. Um, like check it out. You get time. You know, it's called "Bury Me in My Old School." Ooh. Yeah. It's, I like it, the name. It's my next song old, but I promise you, still jam. Ain't it? But we started that video off the same way. We was in the graveyard the same way, putting flowers on the same grave. So that was wow. kind of spin off from that. You see what I'm saying? Wow, you a rap, you a rapper too. So I gotta ask you your top three uh, rap uh, artists or rappers of all time. Of all time, dead or alive, man. I'd say, man, I don't know. I got a little street in me, man. Let's go. You, I ain't even hear me say no Eminem or nothing like that. I, I'm just, Ooh. Well, I'm sure glad I didn't hear you say that because I'm gonna be honest with you, we'd have been in there. We really yeah, and, I, I and I like Eminem as far as a as a, uh, as a uh, he oh, yeah. and he do what he do for yeah. for for the people that 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 are like him that that come from the lifestyle he came from. You know, I'm right. sorry, Mama, yeah. I never meant to hurt you. Right. I never meant to make you cry. You know what I'm saying? That's not you know. But if you put that. That pimp in or that Jeezy or that that was different. Or, or you put that Nas That's even in. Said, if you put that Nas if in, if it don't touch my soul, like man, that hoe gonna go hard man. too. You know, a Jada Kiss. I'm a Jada Kiss fan. I love Jada. Man. Yeah, see, a Jada Kiss guy, he got something because he ain't just got lyrics. He jamming, right. and that's why you love him. It ain't just right. the lyrics. The nigga really, he ride that beat better than a lot of them niggas up there on the East Coast. He right. wanted the best to do it. It flow untouchable, man. That's what I'm telling you. He ride that beat, man. So. It ain't Eminem, but we respect Eminem. We got respect he, him, he, we respect him, but we just I mean, but I'm more of a Fifty Cent fan than an Eminem fan. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna be real because sure. Fifty came with that during his era wasn't nothing touching him. Right, uh, and I don't think it don't it don't hit the same when it's Fifty. You know what I'm saying? Then right. it, it, he got a dope way, and he had mixed up mixed up with Dr. Drake. God, dog, that was hard right there when you come through that right. that, that whole routine because him, him, man, Snoop came through that. Yeah. But who who we got? Let's go. Cause we in the south, you know, and uh oh, I'm a south man. I'm I know you I know where you're going with it. I've been talking to you here. What where, where we man, at? Man, I'm gonna have to go Jeezy. That nigga Jeezy. I know that's that, that nigga man, bad um, again. I'm just going to just impact us when I at my generation. Let's you go. You know what I'm saying? I had to say Boosie. Ooh. 
Oh, that nigga Boosie, boy, that nigga beast, ain't it? Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, Boosie a beast. But let me just say, I always say, uh, I don't think Boosie never had an album out that top Savage Life one. No, Webby killed that whole man. Ain't nobody touched this since yeah. he not in Baton Rouge, yep. not in Baton Rouge. Right. Webby number one in Baton Rouge when it comes to now, album now, release. Yeah, for sure. Huh? For sure. Album release. Yeah. See, that's how I get them. That argument thing comes. You see, I'm over here tripping. Like, yeah, man ain't even said nothing. And I'm over here tripping. Right. But album, just album, number one album out of Brad Baton Rouge is Savage Life One. I can't argue with you, though. You see what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> Somebody get in the comments and tell me if I'm lying. If I'm lying, then get it, it break your fingers, it nigga. Ain't a song on there. You can't pop on right now. <laughs> Keep going. Let's see. You say uh, Boosie, Jeezy, Boosie, and who else the last one? I say Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is yeah. You can't deny that his run and them features. He killed the game. He outworked the competition. Yeah. You remember when that nigga was doing features every damn oh, day? Yeah. Every day to everybody's song, he would do a remix yeah. and everything else. Yeah. That's why what made him the best. And, and he birthed Drake. Yeah. Nigga Minaj. Well, he I, birthed I, I, him I, I, too, but Drake was something that I feel like it mirrored him almost. Drake was, to me, he came off like a, he came off Houston at first, but then as he flowed, as he got in that Young Money regime, you could hear all the twists and turns of Young Money and them working together. Wow. Same thing with Nicki. Same yeah. thing. They were singing and shit. Some of them couldn't sing. They had them auto tunes on. Lil Wayne turned that auto tune on, went crazy for a few years. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Them. That's why I said because a lot of people don't. I tell people for real, for real. T Pain with that nigga too. T Pain was. And uh, if you're going to mention T Pain, you can't mention T Pain without mentioning Plies. You know, yeah, <laughs> that shawty. Sure. Boy, that damn shawty was a hard song, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. You remember that shawty when it like, first came yeah, out? Yeah. Nigga was like, what the hell just happened? You know? Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was a big record, man. Yeah, so that, I, I love the fact that you you unique in yourself, man. Like, you ever will you ever mix uh, Southern Soul with hip hop? Man, I, I don't know, man. I, you see what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna never say I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I have I have ideas all the time just to keep that music different. You know, what that, I'm saying? that's you can't it. Be scared to not do something. That's why I said the thing about the blues world is, is like, you know. And I, and I got to be telling Keita sometimes, too. It's like, you know, you, you want to be able to. I ain't going to let nobody box me in. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, just because this a certain sound that's was used to in blues or Southern Soul, you know what I'm saying? You could take a little bit of that, then you could turn it into something else. Because like I said, music is changing. I feel like music is getting back to the point where people want to hear the truth. People want to hear something that means something. So... At the end of the day, man, it's just how, how you put that message out. Really, you can rap it, sing it, uh, however you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about, to me, it's all about new ideas and execute, you know, putting them putting them pieces together. So, Well, what about, uh, let's talk about Keita for a minute because uh, we're going to bring her up on the interview for a minute. She's uh, your manager. Yeah. How is it being managed by Keita? Keita thinks she's cute. I'm going to be honest with you. Keita, man, Keita, man, I, I, <laughs> you ever, you ever Keita? That rhymes a little bit. Keita thinks you're cute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Keita, so let's let's talk about Keita. Man, working with Keita, man, it's just like I said. Uh, everybody that's around me, we all we we, we feeding off each other energy. We okay. learning. You know, ain't nobody coming into this like man. I know how to do this. I know. That's it. We all learn. We we it's trial and tribulation with everything. Keita just kind of been. She been special for me. You know, what I'm saying wow. far as putting my my business, my bookings, and things like that. It's just. She she do stuff I know I ain't finna do. So yeah, like yeah. I tell her all the time I appreciate it, everything that she do. So working with her, man, she you know she in the radio as well. She, yeah, she got her own thing going That's on hard. too. So you know we kind of we work good together. So everything we do is going. I ain't finna go nowhere. Not mention her. She ain't finna go nowhere without mentioning me. So it's a it's a it's a ball of good energy, man. We we we, we making it happen. Wow, man, that's good to have somebody that really understand yeah. the vision because yeah. it's a hard, you know, the word of God. A lot of people, man, you have some people, you know, a lot of people don't, like you just said, a lot of people don't see your vision. You that's know what it. I'm saying? That's some it. people look at you like a dollar sign. That's it. So you got people around here that see your vision because Keita's tell me all the time, hey, next year, nigga, this shit going to be big. I'll be like, all right, Keita, next year come, this shit big. And so you got people around you that can talk that life into you and, and see what you can't see. The type of people you need around. You don't need nobody around here that's in your pockets that you, you can't trust, that ain't loyal to you. So if I got to rock with one or two motherfuckers, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. I go out here and reach out to somebody, I know they ain't got my, you know, 
good interest in heart for us, you know, my career, my music, and stuff like that. So, so. who would you like to collab with? Man, um, I love to get one in with George, man. Uh, this nigga King George, boy, I tell you, I call man. that nigga the untouchable. I ain't been able to get him either, but I got something for him. I got yeah. some few connections. I'm trying to get up next to that nigga. Yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm listening at his music. I, mm -hmm. you know, he he was snooping him. So I got a few people talking to Snoop. Man, George, man, I got no. He was snooping him. Yeah. He got he, he's with, he's up here now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you'd have caught the nigga when he was eating biscuits and syrup, yeah. then it would be a different type thing. He yeah. over there in South Carolina. But now the niggas up here and everybody that come to him, he probably feel like, just, probably like you, like you wasn't you wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I get it. But at the end of the day, it's a few people out here who really just genuinely love music, man. Right. And at the end of the day, I know you're defensive because you've been hurt. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But at the end of the day, there are some real genuine people out here. And if you can't discern that spirit, then you are not right as well because mm -hmm. that's going to hold you back. Because right. you want to get the right family of people around you. You know what I mean? Right. And if you sometimes you close doors on things that you might not ought to. That's people in general, even myself, because of stuff we've been through. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I ain't. I'm not calling the nigga out at all, or you out. Right. I'm just saying everybody ain't trying to get nothing from you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Some people uh, pack this stuff up and go all the way to Vegas and Cali and all the way to Mississippi and put it back up and never get a dime off nobody. Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? I, and did it when it wasn't monetized. Right. Some niggas is just like that. Some niggas is built different. That's it. You know? yeah, that's, yeah, that's right, though. <laughs> I'm being real. That's but, right. you know, you 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 are one of them people that I'm going to look at as to see a change in the game. Because I've interviewed a lot of people. And they're not, first of all, a lot of these niggas ain't young as you. These niggas old. Right. You're a little younger than some of these niggas. Yeah, 33. And you see what I'm saying? Then... Mm -hmm. Then and and King George, he's a little he's a little older than you, ain't he? King George about 37. 37. Yeah. Uh but see that's what I'm saying. See, it's phases to this game. Right. You see what I'm saying? So in it's another another phase gonna hit in a minute. Uh your phase is good, then you phase out. You can ask Snoop, you can ask any of them niggas that. You can ask uh P, all of them then phased in and out. Now Snoop right. the only one was able to change and market and strategize. And make it look like, hey, I, the phase changed in the music, but I'm over here with uh, Martha Stewart, nigga. You got other things. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, shit, nigga, yeah. what? So some niggas know how to capitalize off the wave of change. Right. But at the end of the day, I look to you. I look to Marcellus the singer. Shout yeah, out. That my guy, too. Uh, I look to uh, you, y'all young niggas. FPJ. Big FBJ, you see, you know all of them, yeah, all and y'all, y'all said that's back. why I can't say about this look, the circle of uh, artists that's coming in now. You know, Arthur Young too. Shout out to Arthur. Uh, Shout out. A lot of the artists, we, you know, it ain't, it ain't no hate shit going on. Mm -hmm. We kind of get, it, we see each other. We kind of put, know how to put, you know, what I'm saying respect for each other. And then we to me, man, I don't, you know, I don't do the competition. I don't, I don't care what somebody else got going on. At the end of the day, I just, I'm blessed and I want to be part of that number because I feel like this, you know, if you got a big, a big, you know, thing of artists coming in in the game at the one time, everybody music sound good. Man, we making history. That's how I look at it. Shout out to T Dash too. That's yeah. my boy. T Dash. T Dash. He's saying he's a singing nigga. Yeah. So you know, all making history, man. You all y'all different too. Yeah. T, T Dash sang country, country and blues and and southern so and R and B. That's how you got to do it, man. You can't Everything. Like, you can't push but he don't off. rap like you. So yeah. You got a different element right there. You could bring something different to the game. Yeah. You can make it sound good in two different ways. Is it? It's just up to you to do it. But it's different, and I, it's a scary place to be. It's, but fear is a well, my false music, belief. My music right? got a little rap feel, too, though. You it know? got a little, but not like you rap, not like you used to do nah, it. Nah, it ain't like that. You know, let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? I like that, man. <laughs> man, so, so you, you, you performing, like, all the time. How is it on that yeah. road, man? Man, it's... Uh, is it, like, straight out of Compton when they was on the road? No, it ain't that bad. <laughs> It ain't that bad, man. It's 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 a blessing, man. That's why I said I was, you know, that's why I tell people, man, I appreciate people's support because I was able to come out here. And uh, like I said, it's been been years since I've been able to do it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't expecting my music to take off as quick as it did. So, you know, uh, as soon as I got the ball and them, them calls coming in, man, I got an opportunity to get out back out here, you know, polish myself, 
get get back used to moving around, you know, mingling with people. That's why I said I love it. And it's it's wow. work. That's why I said I treat it like a job. You know, you know, most people outside looking in is, oh man, that nigga party in there weekend. But it, it ain't really it's work. You know, you you still gotta care care of yourself in a professional way. You still gotta, you know, that's why I said when you see me, you know what I'm saying, I'm on, I'm going I'm going to work. You don't have to convince me of that because anything you start this fun ends up turning into work. You can't end into work. That's pretty much what it is. Once you start, at first it was cool at first, right? But now it's it's pretty much a job. It's a job. That's it. Oh, it was cool at first when I opened this store too. Everybody was happy. That was eighteen years ago. But then these niggas kept coming, and I said, "Damn, I don't want to go up there today." Yeah, it's tug of war now. Oh, I got to go. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So now it's a job. Oh, the podcast, we in here talking about everybody and they mama. Then all of a sudden now everybody requesting, nigga, please come up here. We need you over there. We need it's a damn job. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. know that you what you saying is yeah. facts. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause at, at the end of the day, you got some people, man, that's that's the thing about being ambitious, man. You know, when you when you pray and get what you want, when you finally get it, what you gonna do? That's real. Is you gonna you going is you gonna let it grow? Or you gonna be good with it? That's real. A lot of people that's that got that in them. When it's when it's in you, not on you. you yeah, know, you gonna even if it do feel like work, it's a you, passion, so you love it. So you gonna you gonna make it do what it do. Every man, time. dude, you came in the door. You say you do a lot of rappers. I say I do whosoever will. Whoever I will. think I'm gonna make the whosoever will podcast. Man, you're <laughs> yeah, I like that. Got a little yeah. to him. Everybody can come. Anybody, any genre, any whatever. That's dope, man. Because that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? As long yeah. as you stand on morals and integrity and and, and, it, and you ain't just doing anything and just sell your soul for a jelly roll. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But why we got to create dignity in something injected into this internet. That's what it's really, that's the ultimate goal because everybody's on there. How do you feel about the internet phase? Because you was here in the 90s when it was just, it was CDs, it was it was uh, cassette tapes. Uh, you, could, you remember a few cassettes, but you were young. Man, that music preparation was different. It was okay. different, man. And you really, I feel like now, you know, you had to have some hustle behind your shit back then. Like, you just like Master P used to do. You know what I'm saying? And you, that man became a million out of the streets. You know what I'm saying? You so, said it. Yeah, you said so it. Now, you know, the internet game, man, you really can go viral overnight. You can go viral overnight. So, TikTok it. You really can go viral overnight. And, and that's a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. Well, when I had Kiki on here, he talked about the music, right? Mm -hmm. He said that he... Snoop has said something about people wasn't making enough money in streaming. He, where's the money? And why are they not making it? Kiki kind of different on that because he was saying that we didn't know how they made cassettes. We didn't know how they made uh, CDs, but we just knew that we had to sell them. Right. We knew that we had. We didn't know how they made them, right. but he it made sense what he said. And he also talked about the fact of how much it builds you up for your shows, how much you can sell your merch, and all this other stuff. There's so many different elements around the way that things are now versus the way it was then. You have creative control a lot right. more now. So when I heard him say that, it opened up a door for me. Like you're right, you, the streaming might not pay you what you think you deserve on each record. But or on each song, but at the end of the day, there's a lot more elements over here that you got to play with and toy around with yeah, now yeah. because you can control it pretty much. Yeah, now you got it now, you can kind of you can see see what your music doing. Like so that. I see what Snoop's saying, but I also see what Kiki's saying. Is it when it come down to the stream and like you have to be creative today? I think a lot of times people don't make enough music. Is it? I believe if you was creative and artistic enough to make certain types of music per month, per week, and you steadily stay in these people's face and then dropped a big banger, then you knew how to do that, you'll be a bad boy that's because it. you'll consistently stay in everybody's face. It. And, and, it'll be, and it'll be done in a way to where people can accept it that's and digest it. it. You see what I'm saying? Right. But I don't think people really understand the power of what this internet and how, when you watch Good Times or, or, or the Jefferson, mm -hmm, you, you're moving on up. You know, every week I could watch it. I digest it every week. Right. Now, if they did something big like a premiere of something and they were going to do something at lunch, and I watched that too, and I was excited to do it. Right. So it's all about how you deliver it, right? That's it. That's right? That's so that's it's, it. I think people don't look at it that way. Yeah. I think people just still trying to do it the old way when there's a new thing out here going on. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. But I don't don't try to do something crazy because of me though, no, nigga. Man. Don't do, I'm, I'm just telling you, it's if, out there. If you, learn, <laughs> if, you, if you learn if you learn how to work, if you learn how to work the internet 
And um, it's hard, ain't it? Yeah. If you learn and how to work the internet, man, it, it can put you where you need to be. Country you know, Wayne, Country yeah. Wayne got it figured out. That's it. Country Wayne making four uh, five. Yeah, I yeah. Watch it, and it was like the man. That man's smart, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he, I, I talked to him on the phone before that. And he told me he was doing that, but at the end of the day, I'm telling you. He figured it out. Right. And I tell him the same thing I told him when I was on the phone, saying that I'm telling you, uh, what you're doing hadn't been done before. To be a rapper and go into Southern Soul and be able to create what what's different would be something different. Like I tell him, what you're doing, nobody has done it on the level you're doing it. Right. So you can't expect everybody to understand it. Right. Am I right? You're right. So the old guy ain't gonna understand that because you saying I make six to eight hundred thousand, two hundred, four hundred thousand on on five minute clips. They used to getting them big ass cameras like bigger than mine and going out there and getting in the streets and holding that hole and cutting and pushing that little thing clap. Right. They ain't used to that. Right. So these worlds have to understand and balance against yeah. one another. We That's black it. and we here. And we gonna get this understanding. Boss off one on one style. Let's get it. <laughs> so young guy, um, I love your style. You know, it don't even seem like down south style. It seems like what you have on right now. It seem more like up north because they yeah, always of, have that coat. A lot of people don't believe I'm from Mississippi, they right? Because yeah. the way how you yeah. dress, and from what I understand, that every time you go on stage, you always come out with something fly, something different. Who does your fashion? Do you go and find your outfits, or Everything do you have me. a stylist? Every, no, 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 no. Everything me, man. I get up. Like Maybe you are stylist. Hey, I, I, I am my stylist. There you go. I treat it like work. You know. Okay. You can, hey, just like if you work at Walmart, you gotta have that blue shirt on and that name tag. So it's like when I go to work, I, I gotta, I gotta look a certain way. Cause for my fans, I want them to remember me by something. If you mean that, you know, maybe I remember my music. I don't remember, man, that young nigga clean in a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like this, you gotta remember me by something. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, I love clothes. I've been like that my whole life, getting up, dressing up. You know, that's it's a confidence thing. You look mm. good, you like that. What Dion said? Yeah. You look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you play you, good. You when play you play good. good, they do what? They pay good. They pay good. So you, you, yeah. do you ever look up like? Um, What's trending, like inspiration? Because no, I mean, a lot, 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 lot of this fashion nowadays, man, it ain't, you know, it is. It's but it's shifting right it's now. It's shifting, man. It's shifting yeah. right now because yeah. before it was like a lot of those tight jeans that guys yeah. were wearing more skinny, you know, straight cut, whatever. Yeah. Now we, it's gotten to the big baggy, the stacked yeah, jeans, I, all of that I sort like of stuff. I like the stack, but the, the big baggy jeans, no, yeah. I, don't, I ain't going to get the it. Cut the bell bottoms. You got the, the bell bottom. They bell call bottom. them stack now, but stack that's really yeah. bell bottom. You niggas they ain't going to fool bottom. me. Yeah. yeah I they seen one bottom. nigga flat out wearing bell bottoms and calling it stack. I said, that's bell bottom. You need some Tom Walkers on with that. Yeah. Tom Walkers is big shoes. You don't know about Tom Walkers. Yeah, your kids don't right know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, the, the boy gold, had that. The gold, gold fish was in the damn. <laughs> <laughs> you did, go and bring it all the, the way back if you gonna do it. Do it all the way. That's that. That's that. That's that theme music era. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, yeah, Man, I, I, I definitely love the fact of how the, how, how the fashion changes and how we predict the change. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll come out with some of these designers, but it's the sauce that the brothers put on it that they don't understand is so yeah, powerful. Yeah, yeah. You know, the sisters put a sauce to it. Yeah. The brothers put a pizzazz to it that they could never touch without a... Right. If they bring something out and we don't touch it, it ain't going to be right. It ain't going to be right. You see what I'm saying? It. It's something different when you put a suit on. It. Versus another, you know, person that don't look like you. Person. I said, man, you agree though, but it, it's just you know certain things that fashion nowadays. You know, a lot of stuff. I feel like now that I got older. You know, certain things I want to. You know, you you as a grown ass man, there's certain stuff you not ain't gonna, gonna do it. You know, you got ain't gonna do it. You know, you got certain little fashions now. They got a lot of cartoon characters and shit like that on there. I kind of kind of stay away from that. I thing. remember when five hundred ones was in style, and that was more of your baggier jeans and stuff, and everybody what, what, and everybody was wearing it. That's what my and, hold on. and I remember when these straight cut skinny jeans came in, and everybody was against it. Everybody, like, oh, I ain't know. I ain't going to be caught dead wearing them jeans because that's gay, that's this, then that's that. Then they got that. right in them. And then everybody, even everybody who said that got right because in them. Because that, when that, uh, what era that was? That was the 90s. Jeans. That yeah. was the 90s. No, no, I'm talking about No, I mean, this, to know that was this, the 2000 and, the jeans, 2009, the, uh, 2010. 2000 and some. 2010. Yeah. That, you were just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 2010, right, right, 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Around that so I, I was music. too early back. It was 2010, 2011. And everybody, when it first hit... 
All the men was like, no, you ain't going to catch and me dead snap, in it. And it snapback hats hit with it, too. It was yeah. about the same time the yeah. snapback hats hit. And you, you ain't going to lie, the twist Ed Hardy was in there at the time. I said, never say never. And everybody got busy. Never you know what I'm never. saying? Right. And, and, and I'm going to be real with you. Uh, some things you write or not, I don't care if they still do it. Some people not going to get into it. Right. You know what I mean? It? The, certain things people not going to wear. He ain't going to wear no dress. Oh, yeah. Young Thug put that dress on, blew up. Now he in jail. He ain't gonna do that. He ain't gonna wear that dress. Put no dress on. But a lot of actors would. You wouldn't put a dress on for twenty million. Shit, no. For twenty million. Twenty million. For a hundred mil. Mm-mm. That nigga solid. I, I mean, I say that because I mean. You tell a nigga put that twenty mil in front of you. Nah, man. When I drop that twenty mil, young guy, and say we finna do this video. And and that dress is sitting there, and and you, I say you can you can wear it low. You, you know, might you have to put stipulations on the dress. Ah, you got to wear it low for twenty million. You got to wear it low. But can't be can, no short dress. Can nah. be a long dress. <laughs> you know that's like, what them niggas going through. I said the same. You know that. I said the same thing I did to get him. I gotta do the same thing to keep him. Not the same thing I did to get him. Wow, that's hard. I like that. So then you keep that twenty million. Keep the Twitter, man. I don't want it. I, mean, I understand art too. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So as an actor, it's kind of, it kind of makes sense. You had your big mama house, Medea, and it, it's art. So I mean, sometimes in the day, but you know what I'm saying? Like you, that's like Eddie Murphy. That's why I say I tell people, comedian wise, Eddie Murphy was the truth because Eddie, Eddie Murphy played fucking ten roles in one movie. You know what I'm saying? But that made sense financially. Like, shit, why would I go play somebody else? That's I real. play all, all these random roles. You know what I'm saying? That's hard, too. It's, it's art. So at the end of the Martin day, did the same thing. But at some time, you got to have some integrity. What you stand on? What you stand on? How you feel? How you, how you feel? feel? You know what I'm saying? So Ari you know, Spears was on here and he, he commented about the dress right. and he talked about it in a way to where he was like, um, you know, this is an art, like you just said. Yeah. But he also talked about that video where he kissed that man. He, he said it was a peck. He said it was a video. He did that. You know what I mean? And it was a, 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 a he was talking about gay rappers. Right. And I and and a lot of people gave him flack behind that. Right. And he, but he said he stand on business that he a man. He ain't tripping on none of that. He is an art to him. Right. What do you think about that, man? At the end of the day, like I said, man. Mad TV every what Spears. You, yeah. what, you, what, you, what you what you sign up for. Know what you're signing yourself for. Know what you're signing for. yourself for. At the end of the day, for. man, sometimes, they, you know, my papa always said all money ain't good money. So, all money ain't good yeah, money, ain't so, it? Yeah, so he, he, he can hit your pocket right now, but it might cost you a little bit more down the line. All down the line. So, down the line. So, at the end of the day, man, like I said, it's art, so it's, it can't each his own, man. Whatever you want to do, but me own. personally, man, I ain't. I, I'm a blue song. I ain't got no reason to put no dress on. I got, hey, y'all look on, on social media. See, I got a dress on. Y'all better send somebody. To oh, check I'm gonna on call me. you though. Know. I got. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call a nigga in a minute. Oh, and ask, got I gotta going get on. your number because I will call you and say, man, nigga, what you got going on, on over there? Please call me. Now. <laughs> what you got going on, man? I, I got two daughters. They can't see their daddy no. You better say it again. I got two daughters too and two boys. You just seen one of them. I had him up here packing this stuff. I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make him out of. Man, they gotta get him they up. They ain't gonna shrink daddy no more with that Jessica Simpson dress on. <laughs> Them heels on. Boy, that'll be bad, they man. They'll never look at me the same. They'll never look at you the same. What do you think Dang. about Killer Mike getting arrested uh, over there uh, at the Grammys? I throw arrested. that in there. When he won them three Grammys, I don't even, they still ain't said what he got arrested for. He was on Breakfast Club the other day. I think he might have explained it, but man, I, I hadn't I watched it. it yet. I ain't never got a chance to watch it, but man. I gotta I gotta go watch it. What did you think? You think they what do you think about us waiting on them to award us for the, our accomplishments? Do you think that's a thing where come one day you might want an award? So watch what you say here. Right. Um but do you think we gotta wait, or do you think we need to create? I mean, we gotta. I feel like just keep creating, man. Cause, keep creating I mean, whatever happens. You, you keep waiting. You waiting on somebody to validate you, man. You gonna be. You go. Hey, what they say? What was that old saying, man? If you sit around waiting on somebody to validate you, man, you gonna you go you gonna die lonely. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's real. You, you got to do it, though. You got to accomplish yourself. But that's dope that Mike won, did it independently. Man. He won it, man. Yeah. He that's won dope. it. I was happy for him, so happy for mm. him. You know, I can't get him. He's another one. I, was, I probably would have had a chance at him before, but now that the Grammys came, you know, until I get probably, once I get over 500K, you know, as far as on my subscriber count, 
I, I mean, I'm moving pretty good. I'm right at two hundred and some on one. Good, then man. I got fifty on another. But I, uh, you know, but D boy want to see the millions, man. I think they do, man. A so lot of like, you feel like it was the Breakfast Club call. They gone. The huh? Breakfast Club call any of them. King George any of them. They would boot it up and go. <laughs> what did they say? Uh, 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 just with the mess. Uh, what? <laughs> and, and I get it. You know, we just got to keep working. And and but that's what that's what make the South to where we can't get those respectable looks. The them doing that is what make, keeps us at at bay. You know what I mean? Exactly. When you run to these other platforms, you know what I mean? Uh, when you run to these so-called syndicated platforms and these guys you run into, you know, a lot of them, to get to be honest with you, they skewing the numbers and all kind of stuff to give you that look. And that's right. cool. But over here, it's 100% organic. There you got it. You and, got and, it. Keep and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and it's going to be real every right. time. Yeah. When you pull up, like you when you came this morning, same old, old me, hollering out the door. Just right. country as hell. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't gonna be no different. You gonna be, I don't have bad days. She do. Yeah. You know, but I keep she making take, up she, those she days. But I keep making them days she brighter. Them days you know? right. <laughs> I let her do it. No, I'm a punching bad. bag. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Relationships. You married or what's up? Let's get into your personal business. Yeah, your man. your latest man? Hey, I'm married, man. Okay. Yeah. You're a good I'm, father. I'm a latest man too, though. Oh, that nigga. Not, not like that. That nigga be at them trail saying? rides. Y'all better watch this nigga. No. <laughs> but most, majority of my fans is women, man. Really? Yeah, women, man. So we of course, show, though. Man, that's a, you know, these women show me love. How does she deal with that, though? You out there on the road like that. Let's talk about it for a minute. You know, when I used to be on the road doing my thing, you know, tough. Look how she look like. Hell no, nah, nigga. Glad you brought I mean, your ass take, back it, home. It, it, take, yeah. it takes uh, <laughs> integrity. It, it's like being secure, for one. Secure with yourself. You know what I'm saying? And me, you know, me being a man, you got to know, we know how women is. Mm-hmm. We mm -hmm. want you to, you know, you got to justify some things. You got to make it make sense to that woman. You know what I'm saying? So she got to know, you know, what you're what you doing with this, how, how you moving with this. Let it make sense to me so I know uh, what you got going on. You feel what I'm saying? So it's new to her. I mean, she, she was, you know, we were together when I was rapping and stuff like that back in the day, but it wasn't on this level. Yeah. The point where, you know, it's got the last couple of shows she went to as my music been growing, you know, it's, it's women walking up to her. I love your hood. I'm like, you hear that, don't you, girl? Better stop playing on me. But at the end of the day, man, it's just about, it's, it's, it's work, it's entertainment. So, you That's know, I can't awesome. go to these shows because, your fans pay attention to how they watch how you move as an artist. And a lot of artists got to understand that, you know, I had, you know, people say, man, you come to these shows and Keita get on my ass all the time. Like, I be at these shows, gee, I just be me. Like, you know, some people say I'm too humble. But I'm like, man, I just move a certain way because, like I said, in the blues world, it ain't like rap world. You know, rappers, you see a rapper pull up, they got 60 niggas with them. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking around scared like something. And somebody in the blues world, man, I feel like everywhere I go, I feel like love. I feel like I'm at the high. Okay? That's it, so that's it. So I don't it. feel like I come in there with, with 10 niggas with mm -hmm. me, bodyguards and all that. You know what I'm saying? It'd it be love even from from me. You know what I'm saying? Men come up and shake my hand. But you know why, right? What you doing? Power, uh, power of life is, is in the tone. Life and death is in that tone. Right. So what you saying in these lyrics, you're creating around you. Right. So that's why what you say now versus what you said then, it puts you on a whole nother level with yeah. the people. It, it's a different feel. So so like the music, when I listen to your music, it's something that br it pulls you in. I mean... But that rap music will make you run out here and, and rap tat 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 tat, tat on like, one of these like niggas. They're rap sitting to the you know slaughterhouse. <laughs> they're rap sitting to the slaughterhouse, which I ain't got nothing against. I love rap, rap too, though. I ain't gonna too, lie, man. boy. I put that. that Much as like, you, you listen to my music, you think I'm riding around, listen, listen to blues all day long. Listen to that pill thing. What the fuck <laughs> am I doing? Been the morning. <laughs> That's me, man. Like, Except when I put that when we was in Vegas, I put that pimp in. It it, it hit different. Man, that riding dirty out. Ooh, that, that what I put in. Woo, yeah, man. man that, 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 I, that's what I'm. I tell you, that riding dirty was different. Ain't nobody did that. I ain't now niggas been able to touch that since, and they ain't got him no now. They ain't gave him see, no big album of the year or none of that. Some soul and some rap together. That'd be hard. That 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 UGK and Ryan eyes. Ooh, Monday. that's the same thing. Same that's, thing. That ain't no different. Same that, thing. That ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? You can you can put something like that together. Where well, you that song still got substance, it got meaning. I've been talking about that cramping my style, man, from that first that second album, man. 
That crap in my, you ain't heard that. See, you young. That's an Isley Brother remix, too. But I mess you up with that one. You go get it. Go I'm get go it. Check it out yeah. I'm going to check it out when I leave. And that's my favorite group of all time. You GK? No, the Isley Brother. The Isley Brother. Isley Brother. Hey, like I can't, ain't nobody did you know more than him. Look, Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield, hard, dog. Yeah, man. All that's good music. All the good music, man. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you said Lenny earlier. That's the nigga that made a nigga. Ooh, yeah, nigga. Lenny, man. Yeah, you get your mind right dealing like, with Lenny. I get my rifle, Lenny. And I the said, tears I, I will like, fill up in the wells. Like, I didn't know what wells was when I, I first heard it. song about six minutes long. Fuck it, Lenny did it. Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> The tears will fill up in the wells of my eyes. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, you don't count on the song. (laughs) Ben Rocky said, uh, what she said, uh, tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. That song was long. Y'all ain't realize it was 10 minutes long. No, I loved it. Um, After the pain cold, too. God, no. That's like no music done changed because people like, man, people's attention spans done changed now. Well, you know, I done set up. That means we about to come to an end, man. How can people get a hold of you? I hate to stop. All right, for uh for all booking, man, y'all can reach out to 903 315 7145. That'll be the beautiful Miss Keita King. That is my booking manager. So if you anything, business, features, anything dealing with young guy, y'all please reach out to her. Y'all can find me on social media, young guy, um, TikTok, young guy, underscore two player, Instagram, young guy, underscore two player. Uh, like I said, uh, I got an upcoming show tonight in Lubbock, Texas. That's where we hey. headed to. I was in uh, Indiana last night, All Star Weekend. Man, we snowed on us last night. Man, it got it got bad, but baby, we gonna keep it pushing, man. So I already Lubbock, Texas, I'll be here. I'll be here. Lubbock, Texas tonight, man. Turning up with them folks out there in West Texas, man. So, uh, like I said, if y'all want to get in touch with me, y'all just reach out to Keita. So, man, appreciate y'all having me today, man. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys get into the uh, the, the clips that's coming up next, man. You guys uh, will see clips of my boy Young Guy, man. So, make sure you guys uh, and, check this next And I will. Out. I'll be uh, fly coming soon, but I will be doing a show in Dallas, Texas. When? August 17th. That hoe gonna go in man. August 17, man. So don't miss out. That's it. If y'all that way they see it. If y'all ain't tapped into my music, man, y'all make sure y'all check me out on all platforms. I'm on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, the whole nine. Like I said, if you love some good music, like a little vibe, something to make you think a little bit, y'all gonna check young guys. Southern player music, y'all. That's what I call it. Southern player music. Man, I look, I, and I got to shout out old girl. What's her name? Southern man. She, she, she. Oh, I, I Cicely like Wilburn. Cicely Wilburn. I oh, talked yeah. to her on the phone. I got to get good, on the show. Good people, man. I got to get oh, on yeah, her. She good, King yeah. George. She. Yeah. I think she label mates with the nigga or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, man. King George got to come do that thing. I'm with called Joe and I leave. I said, man, look at me. You better go to Boss Talk, man. Boss Talk, man. That man, nigga on fire. Yeah, you yeah, on fire. <laughs> He don't believe in you right now. Yeah. Come on. Well, through, yeah, man. we'll get it. But I know Breakfast Club got a little more heat. When, when Breakfast Club called, uh, or, or who else? Who, who, Big Boy in the Morning, them syndicated shows. I get it. Right. But this Southern thing different. Man, man, you keep doing what you're doing, man. I this, thank God this, for you, this, man. This, 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 what, this what we need, man. Sometimes you need somebody that ain't scared to go reach out and give people an opportunity, man. That's it. You feel what I'm saying? Don't You ain't got to wait till you're up here. I'm chosen. You feel what I'm saying? I'm chosen to be with y'all, to be honest with this you. And I know you that. You never know. This interview right here might be the, the next big man, thing. You just it, never know. Man, listen, man. Every interview I do, man. Treat right? it the same. Everybody is yeah. love. The channel is being right. love, man. And, and the right people watch Boss Talk. I get them calls, man. So right. I know who watching. Right. So that's the big thing for me is that I get those calls and that the people that's watching are people that can, can connect the dots. Right. And these people are watching you guys. And that's all I want to do is be a, I want to be a bridge instead of a wall. Is it? I done got spiritual again, man. Let us get out of here, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Pass it's been plate. another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. Man.